They threaten us with fire and beating. Range happening. The three legged cat chasing the dog. Today's Boston Gazette. A lion, cheating, no good, son of a bitch. Perhaps we've come at a bad time. Oh, don't be foolish, dearies. Please, sit. Fancy something to eat? A drink, perhaps? Or is it a bed you require? We've already let rooms here. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, of course. Masters Lee and Kenway, uh, was it? Uh, I'll have your bags brought up. Do you require anything further? Only privacy. Sir. William Johnson. A pleasure. A good lad, if a bit earnest. I'm told you're putting together an expedition. We believe there's a precursor site in the region. I require your knowledge of the land and its people to find it. Sadly, my research has been stolen. Without it, I'm of no use to you. Then we'll find it. Do you have any leads? My associate, Thomas Hickey, has been making the rounds. He's quite good at loosening tongues. Well, tell me where I can find him. I'll see if I can't speed things up. We've heard rumors of bandits operating from a compound southwest of here. You'll likely find him there. Charles? Sir. We'd best be off. Of course. Tell me about yourself, William. What's to tell? I was born in Ireland to Catholic parents, which I learned early in life severely limited my opportunities. So I converted to Protestantism and journeyed here at the behest of my uncle. But I fear my uncle Peter was not the swiftest of men. 
He sought to open trade with the Kanyan Gahaga, but chose to build his settlement away from the trade routes instead of on them. I tried to reason with the man, but... <sighs> as I said, not the swiftest. So, I took what little money I'd earned and bought my own little plot of land. I built a home, a farm, a store, and a mill. Humble beginnings, but well situated, which made all the difference. So this is how you came to know the Mohawk? Indeed. And it has proved a valuable relationship. But still no mention from your contacts of the Precursor site? No hidden temple or ancient constructs? Yes and no. Which is to say, they had their fair share of sacred sites. Earthen moons, forest clearings, hidden caves. But nothing matching what you describe. No strange metals. No odd glows. Hmm. It is well hidden. Even to them, it seems. But cheer up, my friend. You'll have your precursor treasure. I swear it. To our success, then. And soon. Thomas Hickey? Who's asking? Haytham Kenway. Is that supposed to mean something? Show some respect, boy. Peace, Charles. William Johnson sent us in the hopes we might expedite your search. I don't need no expediting. Don't need none of your fancy London speak, neither. I found the men that done the theft. Then why are you just lazing around? Figuring out how to deal with those varlets. I have an idea. Will let's hear it. I'll kill the lookout. Take up a position behind the guards. Uh, you two, approach from the front. When I open fire on the group, you charge in. We'll have the element of surprise on our side. Half will fall before they've even realized what's happened. Into position, but wait for me to take the first shot.
for the element of surprise. Reinforcement! inside what now we can blow the door with those go on shoot them safe inside after all. Bet this will fetch a pretty penny. Save your looting for after we found Johnson's research. Yes, master. for a chest. Lay down your weapons, and I'll consider letting you live. I make you the same offer. We've no quarrel. I only wish to return this chest to its rightful owner. Nothing rightful about Mr. Johnson. I won't ask again. Agreed. kind is no need for books and maps. Who put you up to this? Never seen a person. It's always been dead drops and letters. But they always pay, so we do the jobs. Well, those days are done. Tell your masters I said as much. <laughs> Who should I say you are? You don't. They'll know. This one's got some shot on him. You might want to be grabbing it on account of your pistol being parched. A shame so many have to die. Ah, uh, back to the Green Dragon then. I need a drink. Don't let go of the chest, Charles. 
We'll take care of this rebel. to have loot on them would be a shame to let it all go to waste are you mad in case you've forgotten we're in the midst of something
the last of them. Mr. Johnson's gonna need to double my pay after all this if he expects me to keep at his side. There you are. My thanks, Master Kenway. No. Tell me what it is you need. Images on this amulet, are they familiar to you? Perhaps one of the tribes has shown you something similar. It appears Kanyan Gahaga in origin. Can you trace it to a specific location? I need to know where it came from. With my research returned, perhaps. Let me see what I can do. Thomas! Whoa. Rent yourself a room. And a bath as well. I suspect we'll be here for a while.
Thank you. For all your transport needs between the city and Jonathan. Point South, including Philadelphia and Williamsburg, contract the services of Tom Harley. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Good evening, gentlemen. Charming. Oh, peace, Charles. He'll grow in you. Oi! Catherine, you fussock! Get back here! Daddy needs a drink. How fares the search? Maths and maps are not cutting it. What of your local contacts? We'll need to earn their trust before they'll share what they know. <sighs> I have an idea on how we might be affecting that. There's a man who's taken to enslaving natives. Rescue them, and they'll owe us. Do you know where they're being held? Afraid not. Benjamin Churchwell. He's a finder and a fixer. He's also on your list. And there I was, wondering whom I might solicit next. Well done. Whispers of things. Nothing solid at the moment. I know you're looking for word of anything out of the ordinary. Dealing with temples and spirits and ancient times and whatnot. But, so far, can't say my boys have heard much. No trinkets or artifacts being moved through your... shadow market? Nothing new. Couple of ill-gotten weapons, some jewelry likely lifted from a living thing. But you said to listen for talk of glows and ums and strange sights, right? And I ain't heard nothing about that. Keep at it. Oh, I will. You done me a great service, mister. And I fully intend to repay my debt. 
Thrice fold, if it pleases. Thank you, Thomas. Place to sleep and meal to eat is thanks enough. Don't you worry. I'll get you sorted soon. This business with Silas confuses me. If Britain stands any chance of pushing back the French, they must ally with the natives. Not enslave them. Silas is loyal only to his purse. That his actions harm the crown is irrelevant. So long as there are buyers for his product, he'll continue to procure it. All the more reason to stop him, then. My days are spent in Congress with the locals, attempting to convince them that we're the ones they should trust, that the French are merely using them as tools to be abandoned once they've won. Your words must lose their strength when held against the reality of Silas' actions. I've tried to explain that he does not represent us, but he wears the red coat. He commands a fort. I must appear to them either a liar or a fool. Likely both. Take heart, brother. When we deliver them his head, they'll know your words were true. Do you like it here, Charles? There's a certain charm to Boston, I suppose. To all of the colonies, really. Granted, their cities have none of London's sophistication or splendor. But the people are earnest and hardworking. They've a pioneer spirit I find compelling. It's quite something, really, watching a place that's finally found its feet. Has it, though? The French still wage war from up north. And I fear the Spanish have designs upon this place as well. Is this a new world? Or just another battlefield? Ah, that's a story old as time itself. And one that's not like to change. We're cruel and desperate creatures, set in our conquering ways. The Saxons and the Franks, the Ottomans and Safavids. I could go on for hours. The whole of human history is but a series of conflicts and subjugations. A desire for more and more and more. I pray one day we rise above it. Whilst you pray, I'll act. We'll see who finds success first, hmm? It was an expression. Aye, and a dangerous one. Words have power. Wield them wisely. I've some work I should finish. Let us speak later. I'll let you know as soon as I have some. Wonderful. Charles? Sir? Seems like we're not the only ones looking for Mr. Church. Damn it, he could be anywhere. What do we do? We find him. Show you how. But if you could have seen it, 
They were surely drunk carrying on like that, and during the day, no less. The difference of penny makes. Send someone to retrieve him, for he damages his reputation beyond repair. They stumbled off to the northeast, no doubt in search of a tavern or some other place of ill repute. Start questioning those on the street. I'm headed for higher ground. To all weavers, the esteemed craftsman Peter Witzel has contracted a demonstration of his latest looms at Walker and Associates. Take a listen. With luck, one of those people knows what became of Benjamin.
All I know is it can't be good. Probably looking for a nice, quiet place to do the deed. From what I hear tell, his work usually involves quite a bit of screaming. Remind me, you best not find any need to <laughs> Good call, man. Anywhere else, good folk. I've got to all oh, right, stop. Come back here, you great Jesse. Right, he's running away. If you're not entirely overjoyed by what I've he's not offer, here. you've Help. lost your senses. Don't like the looks of it. Unconscious. Thomas the fool tried to offer aid. So they cut his throat. And then they moved on. This is it worth nothing. This is it. Which way did they go? I, I I don't know. I was focused on trying to stop the bleeding. Well, come on now, try and remember. That way, I, I think.
shop anywhere else, good folk. Ask her to all. trifling matter and he'd be returned home soon there was some blood though so i wonder if it wasn't more serious than they let on where were they taking him towards the hilltop perhaps there's a doctor at the fort see charles we'll have church in no time just as i said we would if i might ask sir where did you learn to do all this it is a requirement when you're raised in the manner that i was Perception is fundamental to the Order. It guides the feet when running and climbing, informs the hands when striking and fighting. John and Robert were both in the so it would be the whole plan. Careful. 
place is well guarded. We need to slip past them. Yeah. 
I'll have to find the key. Wait here. Well then. Why must you always make these things so difficult, Benjamin? Merely provide me with recompense, and all shall be forgiven. I'll not pay for protection I don't need. Clearly, you do require protection. Else we wouldn't be here. How very good. Now, what shall we do about our guest? Maybe I take his hands, put an end to his surgery. Maybe I take his tongue, put an end to his waggling. Or maybe I take his cock, put an end to his fucking us. So many options. I can't possibly decide. Take all three. No! Hold a moment! Perhaps I was 
hasty in refusing you earlier. I'm so very sorry, Benjamin. But that door has closed. Be reasonable, Silas! I rather think I was. But you took advantage of my oh. generosity. I won't be made a fool a second time. <sighs> I fear I lack the constitution to bear witness to such barbarism. Come find me when you're finished, Cutter. You'll regret this, Silas, do you hear me? I'll have your head! No. I rather think you won't. <clears throat> Quiet now. I need to concentrate on me work. A little bit too much. Are you? Haytham Kenway, at your service. I, I... I don't understand. Why are you here? Walk with me, Mr. Church, and all will be explained. 